Sydney Cake and now Alexi Ochinen making their way up to the elevator that will take them to the top of the uh, top of the Soyuz to board. May God bless you. Their On your way. Final goodbyes from the stairs of the launch pad before they get on that elevator. And now just one minute to go. Soyuz now on internal power. We may see just a minute or so of uh, in-cabin views, but then we'll switch to external views of the Soyuz during today's flight. Vehicle to internal power. First umbilical tower there uh, separating from the booster. Thirty seconds now until launch. Ground umbilical launch command has been issued. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Engine turbo pump at flight speed. Engines at maximum thrust. Lift off. And there is lift off of the Soyuz MS-10 to the International Space Station, carrying Nick Haig and Alexei Ovchinin to the orbital complex. This again is Nick Haig's first time to uh, launch to space and Alexei Ovchinin's second. Hearing good first stage performance for the Soyuz, delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. In the first stage of the Soyuz measures 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter. It's burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of flight. Sixty seconds into the flight. The pressure in the chamber is nominal. Burlock one, copy. Uh, everything is well on board. They're feeling well. Thank you. Copy. Everything proceeding as uh, intended for today's flight. Now just a little over a minute into it. The velocity of the Soyuz is about 1,100 miles per hour. View here of the crew inside the Soyuz now making their way to the International Space Station. Nick Haig there at the top of the screen and Alexi Ochinen at the bottom. View here of the Soyuz making its way into space. Everything looking good, proceeding nominally. Inaudible. And we have the escape tower for the Soyuz now jettisoned. Everything looking good, proceeding nominally. Inaudible. And we have the escape tower for the Soyuz now jettisoned. And we have the escape tower for the Soyuz now jettisoned. And we have the escape tower for the Soyuz now jettisoned. Everything continuing nominally. The four strap on boosters have been jettisoned and they've completed their job, dropped away at an altitude of 28 statute miles.